1990, but it, it, I wrote that in 1991. Uh, when I saw Ben Shine, the psychic, in 1990, I chose to go and see her. But immediately afterwards, the synchronicity of my life took me to meet about three or four psychics. I didn't actually go and see how, they came into my life synchronicity. And there was a common theme then, uh, and this, it was this. Uh, there was a vibrational change coming, what I would call now an information frequency change, that is going to transform uh, human life, human, the human world. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to act like a spiritual alarm clock, and it's going to awaken the humanity from its coma, from its slumber. And the other thing it was going to do, common theme, it was going to bring to the surface all that had been hidden. Now, in 1990, when I was told this um, several times, uh, there was no evidence of any of that. But look at it now. Look at what's come to the surface that has been hidden, which is now there to be seen, that wasn't there 26 years ago, that wasn't there five years ago. And I, I gave the name to this vibrational change, the truth vibrations, because it was going to bring all that had been hidden to the surface. And it was going to awaken people from this, this coma, this sexual coma. Like I say, 26 years ago, when I was told that, no evidence at all. Now, the evidence is all over the place. If people uh, uh, interact with a few people in their lives and don't have a wide uh, uh, number of people, they might not see it happening. But when um, you travel like I do, you see it happening. I just look back from Australia. It's happening massively uh, there. I'm going to speak in Romania in November. I've never been to Romania. Never been to Romania. There's going to be 4,000 people there. This is a global, global phenomenon of awakening. And this is what's going to bring an end to this. This awakening of humanity from its slumber, aided by this truth vibration, uh, vibrational change, uh, which is clearly manifesting itself now. The world is awakening. It may not seem like it sometimes, but it is. Compared with 26 years ago, it's extraordinary uh, what is happening. The tide is turning. It may not seem like it, but we are seeing the point where humanity is going to bounce and we're going to uh, uh, reverse this process because uh, people are beginning to... Uh, and it's not just the numbers of people, it's the kind of people. People within the system, you'd have thought, they'll never think anything other than what they think. And they're now looking at this. People, you go, what, you? And that's what I was told 26 years ago was going to happen. That first of all, the people most awake are going to be affected by this vibrational change, but eventually people then solid on sleep were going to be affected by it. Uh, affected in a way that we awaken to infinite awareness, awaken to infinite forever, awaken to all possibility. And remember that we aren't Ethel down the store or Joe in the truck. We are all that has been and ever can be. And we can pass this on to our children to challenge the, the, the fierce, unyielding, merciless programming that they are put through by the system. And I found this this, this wonderful uh, little, I don't know, poem that, that somebody wrote, absolutely brilliant for children. Listen to the muscles, child, listen to the dunce. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the ones. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. If we can pass on to our children from the earliest day, the better of the get into the program because they're already beyond it by the time the program gets into, uh, uh, gets out at them and into it. The heart awareness, awaken and unite. When we stand together, the tyranny is over. When we love each other, the tyranny is over. This may not, uh, this may not seem like the, the answer to macho man screaming uh, uh, what we must do and screaming what we must do that, but it is the only way of coming out of this frequency prison is to come to another frequency outside the prison. Here's a manifesto. I've not heard Trump or Clinton mention this. I must have been on another channel. Uh, I, I offer you peace. I offer you love. I offer you friendship. My wisdom flows from the highest source. I recognize that source in you. Let's work together. And I say that to, uh, to anybody, a Muslim, a Jew, uh, anybody. Let's work together. We're all expressions of the same awareness. 
I am love, you are love, we are infinite awareness. Let's work together. Infinite love is the only truth. All this shit is illusion. We are one. Oh, we are one, yes, but it's time not to intellectualize it. We're all one, we're all connected, but to live it in our interactions. When we love each other, that is the revolution, because not loving each other has brought us into this, into this state. And Bill Hicks used to um, uh, end his act uh, brilliantly, the American comedian, very enlightened. He used to say, um, life is like a ride in an amusement park. And when you get on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down, round and round, it has thrills and chills. And it's very brightly coloured, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Some have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And others have remembered, and they come back to us and say, hey, don't be afraid ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. Shut him up, I'm going to invest it in this ride. Shut him up, look at my family and my... My, my bank account and my whatever. This has to be real. Just right. We always kill those good guys and try to tell us that and let the demons run them up, but it doesn't matter because it's just a ride and we can change it anytime we want. No job, no money, just a choice right now between fear and love. And that's the choice that's always been to create the world that we have and to create the world that could be. And it's a choice between fear and love. Fear and love. We come from here, this manipulation is completed. We come from here, this manipulation is ended. It's just a choice and it's time to make it. Hope you've had a nice day. Thank you very much.